Dear students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Marina Michael, Assistant Professor, Postgraduate Department of Commerce, Don Bosco College, Kutti. This is the 14th lecture of Principles of Taxation for BCom, Commerce Tax Procedure and Practice Semester 1 students. Dear students, we are continuing with the principles or canons of taxation. Principles which are related to taxation system. According to P. E. Taylor, taxes are compulsory payments to government without expectation of direct return or benefits to the taxpayer. With the definition, taxation involves compulsion. It is a compulsory payment to government. Taxpayers are required to make certain payments regardless of their individual disposition in this matter. Framing of tax structure. By framing a tax system, the impact of the principles or canons must be taken into consideration. Must be taken into consideration. Certain principles or canons which should govern any sound system of taxation are as follows. First one, canon of equity. Second one, canon of certainty. Third one, canon of convenience. Fourth one, canon of economy. Canon of productivity. Canon of elasticity. Canon of simplicity, flexibility, etc. Canons of taxation. First four canons. Adam Smith, an economist, propound is Mr. Paranyu. Canon of equity, canon of certainty, Namalapadichu. Next canon. Either canon the Padika. Adim were in the canon of convenience, canon of economy, canon of elasticity, canon of productivity, canon of variety, canon of simplicity, and canon of flexibility. Third one, third canon, that is canon of convenience. According to this canon, every tax should be levied in such a manner and at such a time that it affords the maximum convenience to the taxpayer. The reason is that the taxpayer makes a sacrifice at the time of payment of the tax. Hence, the government should see to it that the taxpayer suffers no inconvenience on account of the payment of tax. Okay, you can see that convenience is not convenient. You can see that tax 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 is not that's a sacrifice at the time of payment of the tax. That's why government has a good tax structure, a good tax system. That's why we have a good tax payer. For example, agricultural tax should be collected soon after the harvest since the farmers are in a better position to pay it. Okay, that is why the income tax is deducted. Income tax should be deducted monthly on installment basis from salaried taxpayers. Agricultural tax is deducted. We have to pay for the farmers. We have to pay for the farmers. We have to pay for the harvest. We have to pay for the harvest. எந்தியனம் tax அடக்கான் உள்ள ரீதியும் ஏது டாயம் ஆனு எங்கனே யான் அடக்கேண்டும் என்ன பரையனம் government இது ஒரு convenient ஆயிரிக்கினம் அல்லாதே tax payers இனே புத்திமுட்டிக்கின ரீதியில் ஆகருது ஒரு system of tax கொண்டு வருந்து that is third one canon of convenience canon of convenience next is canon of economy canon of Economy. 
the tax is economical in the sense that the cost of collection is very small. Cost of collection is very small. Every tax involves a collection cost. It is important that the cost of collection should be the minimum possible. Do you understand? According to this canon, the tax should be such as to bring the maximum part of the collected revenue into the government treasury. In other words, the cost of tax collection should be the minimum. If a major portion of tax proceeds is spent on the collection of tax itself, then, a such, then such a tax cannot be considered as a good tax. Tax act collected in the amount in the major part of government treasury. All that is, tax act collected in the major portion of the expenses in the way. Tax collected in the expenses in the way. The cost of tax collection is not made. It 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 is not made. Okay, tax collection cost नु परेंद minimum आईरिक्यनाम. Okay, अंगने लोरे अंगने tax collection cost एट्टेवं कोरवाइट लोरे system of tax एट्टेवं नल्ल tax नु परेयान पट्टुवोलो. That is canon of economy in the sense that the cost of collection is very small. Next is canon of elasticity. According to this canon, every tax imposed by the government should be elastic in nature. In other words, the income from the tax should be capable of increasing or decreasing according to the requirements of the country. Canon of elasticity. In the case, one government tax rate to be able tax rate to be able to a system of tax. Okay. income tax. Example, I have to say, in income tax is elastic. In the case, one rate to be able to a government to be able to government गवर्मेंट of elasticity for for example if the government needs more income at a time of crisis the tax should be capable of yielding more income through an increase in its rate okay but it's a real crisis and then you know what the angle government and good the body man I'm a wish I'm on the angle as a meter to really be the tax rate with the awesome at the corner government a good the revenue and chamber to I'm gonna look at the system of tax I can I'm not let the airport I'm not let the that is can of elasticity it's a part in the muckle man slang on not me part in the principles like a follow chain with a system of tax on a report I'm not let the மக்கலை நம்மல படிச்சோன் இருக்கிந்த Canons or Principles of Taxation ஆன இயும் வீடியோ லெக்சரல் நீங்களு படிச்சுது Canon of Convenience, Canon of Economy and Canon of Elasticity. Okay, thank you and God bless you.